Global News. Global News Sports. How y'all doing? Come one, come all. Um, we are back in a flash to discuss um, questions y'all might have. Um, I know some of you wondering um, what teams will flourish to the top of the Big 12. I've heard uh, numerous of different uh, analysis that you know it's a solid league and that there's no uh t it's not a top heavy league there's no bottom feeders while all of that uh may be true but we need to dig a little deeper and when we do that we're able to find out that when you have a conference that is very competitive you're going to have teams that are going to lose and you're going to have teams that's going to flourish to the bottom while every game will be interesting will be excited exciting and while every game will be uh one of many viewers so when you look at how each game is played there's going to be a winner and a loser so with that being said when the true Big 12, which is considered the new Big 12, all 16 members come together in 2024, that's when we will be able to determine what teams will flourish. Now, there will be four teams <clears throat> based off of uh, understanding of the different segments of the conference you know you have the four new teams coming in in 2023 and then you have the other four teams coming in in 2024 with the remaining eight and when you put all of that together there's definitely going to be uh competitors coming from each segment now when you look at this there's going to be four teams that are going to be competing for a national championship as well as playoff spots from the Big 12. There's going to be four teams that is going to be competing. Uh, the first team, which is obvious, that's going to be competing is Utah. Utah will ultimately become one of the schools and carry the Big 12 to the stature of prominence in the years to come and recognize as a developing strong contender for all conferences, whoever play them, whether it's the Big 10, the SEC. And I keep hearing people discuss so much how their comp, the Big 10 or the, uh, the SEC schools are way better. Yes, far as in money wise. And yes, the difference what a lot of people don't pay attention to when you look at these conferences. Now, I've analyzed these conferences and the SEC is known for running the football. OK, they are more grit and grind, you know, pound for pound bully like a bully type conference where when you play them they're going to be you know stacked on the ground i mean they'll throw from time to time but they're more of like smash mouth type of uh you know gameplay that's how the sec played 
likewise similar to the big 10 they have a blend a blended mix you know it can go either way and so when you're looking at that and you're trying to compete and win and beat these teams when you're up against them you have to have, you know fire with fire you have to likewise be competitive in those areas which means having stacked depth of uh recruited talent that are that are able to give you that type of competition now um utah is definitely going to be a team to be reckoned with coming out of the big 12 period they just are they'll they'll have their shot at playing the big games you know i've heard that you know they just never been on the stage to play for a national championship or playoff they'll have their turn here uh in the 2024 season um another uh school that is going to be competing for a playoff spot in in a national championship believe it or not is going to be kansas state i know a lot of you may say how so or you know how is that possible but if you notice they was barely defeated by tcu uh just last year and they still have a solid football program and they will be contending for a playoff spot in 2024 season another team that will be competing for this spot would be ucf ucf is another team that is coming in stacked they'll have their time to make adjustments this year coming in to 2023 season and during this time they're going to be able to of course see where they lack and what they need and make those adjustments coming in for 2024 season so definitely you're going to have um ucf competing for a playoff spot in uh, a national championship and last but not least if we look at all the schools and we compare now it's kind of hard to place Colorado in that in that um, in that same lineup with the other schools because for one in the Pac-12 they haven't done so well. For two, uh, they have done a 360 really. Um, when you look at the way that their program has uh, transformed. Um, you know, you have the hire of Deion Sanders, you have the hype, you have the the conditioning, the strength and training, the recruiting. And we don't know what they are going to look like until they get on the field this year in the Pac-12. And once we look at them, we can probably safely say if they will be contending in 2024 for a playoff spot in the national championship, which is most likely the odds are in their favor that they would, not to mention they have a history of winning the Big 12 when they was in the Big 12. And so it's a good chance you will see Colorado also competing for playoff and a national championship come the 2024 season. And last but not least, we're gonna throw in Cincinnati. Now, how is this so <clears throat> well cincinnati is coming off of a not so bad past uh three years and competing in the aac along with ucf and of course it's going to be like ucf they're going to we're going to see how they fare uh this upcoming season and where they where they land and it's a good chance that they could be competing for a playoff spot. I wouldn't say a national championship, but definitely a playoff spot. And for now, those seem to be the schools that out the gate in 2024 will be competing for uh, playoff spots and national championship. You have Utah. This is football. You have Utah, Colorado. UCF, Cincinnati, and uh, UCF, Colorado, Cincinnati, and in Kansas State. So those five teams 
look to see, see them competing for a conference championship, a playoff spot, and potentially a national championship. Now, the Big 12 has the potential to produce solid candidates to go up against any conference, whether it be the Big 10 or the SEC. The way the Big 12 is structured now, okay, they have the potential to gear and groom every member to be a solid contender for a national championship year in, year out. Now, yes, they have the less champion national championships in their conference, unlike the Big Ten and the SEC. Yes, because the odds were stacked against them. But now I can honestly tell you that what the Big 12 will produce moving forward, they will produce uh, a solid football program on the field year in, year out. Their, their champion their champion from that conference is going to be a solid contender each year moving forward in the playoffs and potentially competing for a national championship. Also, I wanted to add this, okay? There should be a, uh, a rule moving forward that if you are not in a conference that you cannot... Uh, compete for a playoff spot and i know some of you are going to be like oh well what about those who are independent exactly there's a handful there's a, a few maybe just a handful of schools if that that are independent and these schools know who we're talking about uh there has to be if we're making these changes there has to be a uh, accountability for these programs and they have to fall into the fold of, hey, if you are playing football, you must be in a conference. That way, there's no entitlement, as we would say, moving forward. Everyone is playing and competing in the conference. So should those teams. Now, I understand Stanford may go independent. That's probably because they don't want to probably contend for a national championship. And I doubt that they do. And that's the exception. So if the schools don't want to compete for a national championship, fine, stay independent. But if you want to be in the playoffs or be considered in the playoffs, you must come through a conference, period. So once again, thank you all for watching. Global News. Subscribe, like, and don't forget to have a great day. Clover News. Clover News. Clover News Sports.